Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. What we're gonna work on today is we're gonna try to tighten down this wheel on uh, this cargo trailer. I'm gonna try to repack the bearings a little bit. Maybe not repack them, maybe not take them out, but I wanna grease the, the bearings. And uh, the, the main reason is, is we have a little bit of slack. I'm gonna try to see if you can see it when I move it. See it just a little bit. The bearings aren't bad. But they do need we do need to tighten this uh up i'm gonna try to show you how to do that and uh one one of the reasons why i've got a long trip coming up and these things have got to be good on it and uh we may replace these caps because of that right there these things are rotten and it's time to replace it so that's the plan stick with us and we'll try to get it done all right i got a pick here i'm gonna try to just use it to get the plug out now i will say this ladies and gentlemen this is a dirty job i mean like for real um big time so keep that in mind if you go to try to tackle it it is a dirty dirty job so you're gonna get grease everywhere and uh yeah you don't you don't really want to get this on you because it's a mess it's hard to get off anyway that slack we have there we need to take out so what we're gonna have to do is to try to gently I'm just running the pick around try to get some of the grime away and we're gonna try to get this off and make the adjustment here Well, I got you here. Thanks for liking and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it, guys. You really helped this channel grow quite a bit more than I actually thought it would at first here. So I really do appreciate that. If you like stuff like this or Will It Runs, things like that, and even more great adventures coming up soon, hit that subscribe button. You hit it, follow me. It's free, and uh, you can keep up with what we're doing. And I try to give some information that, that people can really use. So, yeah. If you would, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, so we can stay in touch. Anyway, back to the back to the program here. We're going to try to get this off, and I'm going to try to do it with um, some channel locks, I think. Something like that. We'll see how it goes. No guarantees that this is going to work, but this is what my first thought was to try to get these off. You don't really want to distort them when you're taking them off so there's a lip here but i found a lot of times after they've been on here for a while it's just it doesn't work out too good i just wanted to point out for video's sake too because i didn't do this and if you're going to reuse your caps here for sure you know you're going to reuse them i wasn't i knew i was going to replace them but you can sometimes get a screwdriver back behind this lip and push pry spin the wheel push and pry and get it off without damaging it i didn't do that because i was replacing them so just wanted to point that out too so if you're going to reuse these caps you might try doing it that route before you uh grab it with some pliers or whatever and try to pull them off that way sometimes you can't though sometimes you have to grab a hold of it and, and really get forceful with it to get them off depending on how long they've been on there and how snug a fit they are so just thought I'd throw that in there too. Didn't want to, didn't want to put a video out where you guys had another option and I didn't tell you. So there you go. All right, so we're going to get our gloves on and we're going to get our channel locks and we're just going to keep prying on it. I bought some new caps because I figured that this is probably not going to go well. So that's. And I really hate that because there's no reason that this should be ruined by what we're doing. But I digress. All right, nasty grease. I'm going to get a, a towel and wipe this off 
try to keep it off of everything so that when I because I'm going to have to take the, the nut off and, and tighten it a little bit or not the nut I'm going to take the, the keeper out and tighten it down and just take some of this lash out uh, some of the I don't know maybe you can see it on camera it's just got a little bit too much wiggle for my for my liking there uh, so I want to do that tighten this down a little bit and I'm also going to try to clean it enough to, to make sure I can try to get the right replacement um, bearing. I want to carry a couple of bearing sets with me, one for each side. And I've got a long trip coming up, and it's just good to have that kind of stuff in case you need to get back in here and do something. I will not throw this away. I'm going to try to beat it back out kind of, you know, where it's half decent and, uh, and all that stuff. I don't like that this doesn't have a, a better cap feature. But uh, I guess worst case scenario, I could throw it all back into a bag and, and throw this in there. Because you never know, you could be going down the interstate and you could lose the new cap somehow. And then at least if you had something like this, you could throw it on until you get to the next exit or whatever. And, and all that good stuff. So, all right, going to get some towels to clean this up. We've been having such beautiful weather here. I'm talking about gorgeous. And yesterday, I, I say gorgeous, we just finally got over a lot of rain that we've been getting. And that's been destructive. It's been pretty bad. Um, I have a will it run video that I'm trying to complete that I can't get back to the vehicle to do because it's a little off the road and, uh, and all that. So that kind of sucks for what we're doing. And uh, the weather turned off really cold after having a lot of rain, but it has actually been like 70 degrees, 75, even got up to 80 degrees. It's been so nice from a temperature standpoint. You know, we could do without a lot of the rain. But anyway, now it's cold again. Now I have out here having to try to do this and it's cold. I had to break the car heart back out. I'm going to have to figure out how to get... That's that's way too loose. That's not good there, guys. Um, I don't like that at all. I need to get this off uh, the keeper here and uh, try to see if I can't get this in a little bit better shape. I'm glad I checked all this. Always a good idea if you're going to... Heck, if you're going to take a trip down the road, five miles, it's good to check these things. Uh, obviously, should have checked this sooner, but here we are. At least it's getting done now. We're trying to pry this off without tearing the keeper up here. I kind of like the cotter pin. I think that it... It definitely has its place for this kind of stuff. But I'm guessing this keeper will work. And it's got this little it's got this little hinge here that goes against the flat spot when you go to slide this back on. So you remember that when you go to put this back on. This is one of those things too. The bearing is not bad. Well, that's not what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the adjustment not being correct and all that. You see how loose this is? I mean, it's pretty bad. I'm going to go ahead and back this completely off. And I'm going to try to get a number off that bearing in there. I could take the numbers off the trailer and I'm sure I could call and, and get the right one but if I can see an actual number and take a picture I'd rather have that right on my phone walk in get a new set of bearings and call it a day and you know who knows we may not, we may not be able to see the bearing And this is kind of the process you'd go through if you were going to have to replace something in here. I am not, but... You know, when you have this, it has the, kind of the half moon, pretty easy. To, you can't hardly mess that up. Some of them could be directional on, on them, but I don't really think it matters as long as you get it on there. This one in particular has a mark on the outside here that was facing us. 
so maybe they are directional uh, maybe they are directional for what you're doing but you, know, you can kind of see right here you know the, I'll get my fingers out of the way you can kind of see the half moon flies on and here's the mark I was talking about you might not be able to see that anyway that was facing out so we'll make sure it's facing out when it goes back on And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna repack or fill this thing back up with some grease when we're done for sure. I like to try to clean everything up a little bit while I'm doing stuff like this to kind of just check other things. Just see make sure everything else is on the up and up. And I don't guess I'm gonna get to see. The barn. I was hoping I would, but it don't look like I'm going to be able to. Okay, so I was unable to actually be able to see the the, the number on the bearing. I could pull this off and and have a look, but I really don't want to disturb any more than I have to, because all I'm going to be doing is injecting more grime and dirt to the situation, and I don't want to do that. I think what I'm going to try to do here is. Uh, See, there's some dirt already getting in it just from sitting here. So I think what I'm going to do is um, just kind of put this thing back together and see if I can get these new ones in. And, uh, and hopefully that's going to work. I think it's going to line up and work. I'm not sure. We're going to give it a try. You don't want it so tight that you're overpowering the bearing, but you don't want this thing so loose that that you have any movement. See, to me, that feels pretty good. There's no movement side to side. And like I said, you're going to get nasty here doing this job. So I'm going to call that good. Make sure we put our come on. You guys can even see what I'm doing here. These things can sometimes be a pain in the butt to get back on. There we go. And like I said, you want to try to keep this stuff as clean as you can. I'm going to try to utilize this. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm going to get some towels. I'll come back and, and see here. But that is much better. I mean, the bearing, there's no noise. The bearing's fine. You just need it snugged up and we're gonna fill this thing up with grease. So, I've got this snugged up. It's, it's about where I want it, where I think it ought to be. You know, they say, there's lots of different ways that people say to do this, snug it up and then you wanna back it off just a hair or something. I personally believe you want it to where it is snug enough to where you know it's the, the bearing's not getting any any movement you don't want that i mean that's going to wear on it in a different direction in a different way than it should than what the bearing's designed for but you know check your check your manual 
on your trailer there there might be some videos from like e-trailer or places that you you know this is an interstate trailer they might have a video on how to do this as well and just follow their instructions um we'll say this though on this particular situation i uh i try not to disturb much less you disturb the better in a lot of these cases you get too much going and uh, you can end up causing yourself more grief we're going to try to get the old grease gun who that does not ever cooperate this grease gun is a joke it's a disaster it has served its purpose but it it, it is junk if you see this on the shelf uh, run it leaks from every place except the nozzle no matter what I do so yeah What in the hell? This grease gun hates me. And I hate it. Come out of there. You see, I think the plunger is stuck inside of this grease. And there's a lot of grease left in this tube as well. That just drives me crazy. Oh, yeah. That's how you want it. Damn you. You gotta be kidding me. You piece of crap. I hate this grease gun. I just despise it. Don't hate a lot of things, but man, when I find something I hate. Woo! Come on now. Uh, all right, let's see if I can get this junky thing to stay together long enough to get it off. Come out of there. It won't let go of it. It won't let go. It won't let go. Wow. This is where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. A 10-minute job is now going to be a three-hour job. Thanks a lot, Grease Gun. Thanks. These new ones that I bought, the way they're designed, I don't know because of how our Zerk is in here. Uh, let me open this package and have us a look at what we're dealing with here. Got a little grease on Walmart's package here. Everybody get that off. I mean, it'll definitely fit. Hmm. I'm interested by this. Hold tight. All right, guys. After a little inspection and seeing how everything is designed on this specific trailer axle that I didn't know beforehand that I do now I went back returned the other caps that I had and went back with this um, I ordered this from Amazon a few years ago believe it or not and already and had it which is odd for me I had bought it for another trailer that I was working on and, and ended up going a different direction with it as well so if I can get it out of here show you so this is basically the direct replacement for what was on it. I'm going to put these on. That way I don't really change any of the internal or any of the design. Everything will be exactly how it was. And uh, I do like this. I like that you can pop these out and grease and put them back in and it's secure. I do like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this on and then uh, we're going to pump this thing full of grease. Put the cap back on and this thing is done. Perfect. Sometimes you need a rubber mallet. See if I can find mine real quick. All right, we got the rubber mallet here. Sometimes you might have to use a block of wood and uh, put it on the end here. I try not to do that if I can help it. I try to actually try to 
be gentle with this because you don't want to bend it all up when you're putting it on. You just try to get it started straight. And I'm trying to do this to where I make sure you guys can see what we're doing. And there's sometimes they're stubborn. Come on. Come on. Go on now. So I guess this whole project's gonna be one of them deals, huh? Mm -hmm. You bastard. Come on. Any other time. Oh yeah, and every time you drop it like I just did, make sure you wipe it out because you'll probably have rocks, pebbles, sand, dirt, all that good stuff in it. One good thing is when it does finally decide to go on, it'll be a good solid tight fit. Once you get it started, after, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes of beating on it, just try to keep it square and just tap it in as you can. Like so, until it tops out, and it will eventually tap out. I like to spin the wheel a little bit. Cause you want that to seal off. You don't want it any hanging out. All right. Now that we finally got that back on, and that took much longer than it should have, y'all. I'm having one of those days. Like I said, I'm sure you guys never do have one of those days. Everything probably goes smooth for y'all. But for me, I have trouble on stuff. Half the time, more than half the time, it doesn't cooperate. So, anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to fill this thing up with grease. We're going to pump, pump, pump on it. You want to make sure your nozzle is clean as well on your tip on your grease gun. I had to go borrow this grease gun since you seen the travesty with mine. And I just like to pump it till it's full. I'm okay with that. I'm not mad at that. I'm not angry at that. I'm okay with that. So, we'll take our new seal. Take our new seal and they sometimes can be stubborn getting them back in for the first time especially after you have grease in it pump full but this one's going to give us no trouble and y'all that's pretty much it it's usually a lot simpler than what it what it made it out to be you know like i said everything that could go wrong did go wrong on this one so we have that tighten with a good lash, good movement. You know, there, there's not a lot of side to side. It's not just bear down tight. You know, it's it's not like that either. So you don't want to jam up your 
your bearings or or anything for that matter but that's in good shape again it's rolling really smooth I think I'm gonna tap it right here a little bit I don't think it's quite set on but that's something you're gonna to want to do you want to make sure that's sealed off because if it's not sealed off you will have a water getting in it and and likely get after this heats up and expands in here you could throw it off you don't want that so anyway I ordered these off of Amazon I believe and like I said over a year ago for another trailer project that I was working on ended up not using them but uh they were like five bucks for the for two and to be honest if you try to go to the big box stores now to get new caps you're talking 20 bucks at least uh I checked at a couple local places that are, you know, very popular. You're talking 30 bucks for these caps now. Ridiculous pricing. But um, that's all you have to do. I'm going to do the other side, but there's no sense in showing that because, hey, I just showed you this one. Just like always, guys, I do appreciate you liking, subscribing, and commenting on the videos and sharing them with your friends. Um, I really enjoy making them. Hope you you get something out of them if you don't hey you're hopefully getting a little entertainment seeing how things don't go right for me <laughs> and all that good stuff but anyway i will see you guys on the next one please uh like subscribe and share i really do appreciate it and more projects to come thanks guys